Hello, I'm Mike Brooks. Here's a look at some of today's top stories from Two Works For You. A special garden and pathway area is being dedicated to victims of crime in Tulsa County. Tulsa County's District Attorney's Office is working with the Tulsa County Parks Department to make what they're calling the Pathway of Hope. Now, it's being dedicated today at Chandler Park. Ceremony starts this evening at 6. Crime victims and families of homicide victims will be able to decorate a rock and then add it to the garden this year. The dedication comes during Crime Victims Rights Week. A bill that passed the State House of Representatives is drawing sharp criticism from the ACLU of Oklahoma. Senate Bill 2, also called the Save Women's Sports Act, would restrict transgender students from playing sports on the team that aligns with their gender identity. Nicole McAfee, the ACLU of Oklahoma's Director of Policy and Advocacy, said in a statement, quote, transgender athletes have the right to participate in athletics consistent with their gender identity. Transgender girls are girls. She adds that the bill does discriminate on the basis of sex. Well, the, the bill passed the House 73 to 19, and that goes back to the state Senate. History made in the city of Wagner. Voters recently elected Gayla Wright to the city's council. She's officially the first black woman to serve. She was sworn in at City Hall Monday night. She was born and raised in Wagner. She says at 60 years old, she never expected to be taking on a new role like this. She will represent Ward 2 and says she's ready to get started. One of her first priorities to focus on the children of Wagner. Congratulations to her. Let's talk about your forecast with meteorologist Annie Brown. Thanks, Mike. We're tracking some snowfall, a little bit of rain mixing in as well, and that will continue for the afternoon. Still seeing those pockets, and we are dealing with a, a little bit of snowfall flying around. It's almost hard to say here for the end of April. Right now, get a little bit of a break in that precipitation, but that will continue to pick up temperatures right at 37. North winds around 10 miles per hour. Make sure you keep that coat with you as you head into the afternoon.